What's good, y'all? Cal Visuals, and today we have another episode of Cinematic Lighting Techniques. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. let's do it. So today we're gonna talk about a favorite stylistic shot of mine, the moonlight window effect. Today I'm gonna show you how to create a cinematic moonlight effect coming through a window without having any real moonlight. Let's do it. <laughs> So we are jumping into how to create a moonlight effect. Um, so yeah, enough shenanigans, let's dive in. We're gonna head over here outside. Um, we're gonna set up and kind of alter things a little bit, get some light going, um, and then see where we're at. First and foremost, uh, I'm gonna run into here. I need our fake duvetine again, or our DIY duvetine, whatever you wanna call it. So we're gonna go ahead and hop outside here. Okay, come with, there we are. Alrighty guys, so <clears throat> looking here first and foremost, grabbing this duvetine, because if Shay turns around, you see right here, all of this. Uh, I've got a open backyard area um, and screening here. So we're getting a ton of natural light, uh, which we don't want. We're trying to control the light, we're trying to shape it, and we just want directionally a moonlight look. Uh, so we don't want any natural light coming through here at all. Um, so what I'm gonna do is because it's wood, it probably is a bit harder to go through with the thumbtacks. And so as a result, I'm gonna try and utilize some duct tape and see how that works for us but we might just have to use the tax as well. Duct tape's great for so many things. You people don't even know. It's one of my favorite filmmaking tools. Okay. It's good right there. And so you're obviously not seeing this on the regular camera right now because we do not have any lights going on in there. But bear with me, folks. We're going to sprout some light on you here soon. So let's go ahead and get this light set up here. We've got the 120D. We've got Softbox, aka Shemay. Uh, going on here to kind of control and soften up the light a little bit. Typically what I would suggest using is an HMI um, if the budget is there. However, we do not have an HMI. I did not want, I did not own one, nor did I feel it was necessary to buy one for this. I think, again, just showing how you can use it practically with more affordable elements and things available to you at home. Uh, so again, 120D, we've got the home at home. So we're just uh, controlling the light, shaping it and directionally controlling it a bit more. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and throw this on here. Okay. Bam. It's looking pretty good. Um, we just need to raise it up a little bit higher. Bam. Okay, woo, that almost took out my feet. That would have sucked. All right, I'm all sweaty now because it's Florida. We're doing that outside and filmmakers work hard. AC where it's at, come on in. Awesome. So we're starting to look a lot, lot better here got a nice kind of moonlight effect. Um, however, it's not quite enough light. So striking, we're gonna turn this guy on. Again, we're going for more of just a clean white 
modern look here. So I've got zero tungsten light going on here, all daylight balance. And we're going to blast this into the room. Ooh, I'm dropping everything today. Mm -hmm. All right, so that right there, just adding a little more natural and ambient light into the room. And I'm actually gonna tone it down a bit. It's not as much as I want. So as you guys can see here, that's affecting it. Something like that. Add a little more to the room. Okay, awesome. Um, and so now we're gonna add some haze. Add some haze into the room. Again, this is gonna help us really get that final cool stylized look. So I'm gonna pump this for a while here. And again, this is because I'm going for a very specific and stylized kind of moody uh, look here for late at night. Okay. Pump a little bit more. So we're now at 4,200 Kelvin. It's got a great moody, uh, again, cool dark look here. We're almost done. Again, we've just got this haze lingering here. Um, so we're going to help it settle by moving around here. What you probably should do too. If you can, close all the other doors. Um, Shay, if you can kind of turn around real quick. Um, so right behind Shay here is this doorway. Um, so it'd be helpful if you can kind of block off, seal off all the doors and stuff like that so you're keeping the haze in there. Um, this looks pretty good and it's, uh, you can see you know, how much the haze has really helped fill um, the light. So I'm actually dropping the shadow, uh, excuse me, dropping the ISO a bit more. Um, so I dropped the ISO from 400 to 250. I'm gonna add a tiny bit more haze. Um, and then I think we're gonna be settled and good for our final look. And that's it right there, guys. Um, a really, really simple uh, moonlight look. Um, just again, giving that slight little appearance, like we've got some nice moonlight coming in through the top window here. Um, and again, we're kind of killing out all the other light. We're making sure we're not getting any ambient light from any of the other rooms. We've got the door closed. We've got um, a uh, duvetine, if you will, on, on the other window there. So we're blocking off all the light. The only thing I would maybe change or do a bit different, um, as you can see in the top framing here, um, you see a little bit um, difference in the light chain. So we're seeing where the light's coming through. So I would maybe just poke in a little tighter with the image, um, or again, I would pull out and change the angle here, um, just so we're kind of seeing that moonlight effect. So I might do something like this right here, where again, we've got more of an uplifted look we're seeing that clearly something is coming through that window. It still has that kind of moonlight effect and it kind of just creates more of like an ominous feel because you know, our eyes are, as, as the viewer is curious, you know, what is that light? Where is it coming from? And it just kind of creates a really, really cool and profound look. Um, but yeah, guys, that's really, really simple, fun little setup of how you can make a homemade kind of moonlight effect. That's it for this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe. Drop a comment below with any questions or concerns or just say, hey, let's talk about cameras. Post notification, turn it on. Come on, more awesome content coming. You don't want to miss it. I'll see y'all next week. Come on, check out what's cooking. Later.